This is in a, as a nearly adult. Didn't take any further legal action and I was required to keep silent about it. Hearing her clarity and her intelligence just brings home what we lost. You must miss her so much. Mm. Yeah, it's forever. Mm. Anthony and Chrissy Foster have lost too much. But as we've witnessed over the years, never their grace or determination. That window is the window in the room where O'Donnell raped her. And uh, that's, where, that's where it all happened. It was here at Melbourne's Sacred Heart Primary School that not one, but two of their daughters were sexually abused. Six-year-old Emma and five-year-old Katie were raped by their school priest, Kevin O'Donnell. Jumper on. We thought we were all happy days back then. Yeah. Unable to overcome the trauma of the abuse, Emma took her own life nearly 10 years ago. Well, wasn't that that <coughs> special? The names? I remember that. And Katie needs 24-hour care after walking into oncoming traffic drunk. Binge drinking was her only solution to the abuse she suffered. But the church response to their tragedy has been to block Anthony and Chrissy at every turn. If George Pell had cared more, if the church authorities had cared more, how different would your lives be today? Not having to fight the church in court to achieve some sort of justice and some sort of solution for our children. All of that effort would have gone into our family instead. The church dragged that out of our family and ultimately dragged the life of our daughter out of our family. We showed Pell a photo of him presenting our daughter with a confirmation certificate. We first met the Fosters in 2002, then disguised, telling of an encounter with George Pell. Yeah, his response was, that's a very nice photo, very, that's lovely. In all the years since, their account has never changed. I showed a photo with him handing Emma a certificate. And his comment was, that's a nice photo. I showed him a photo of Emma having cut her wrist and he said, oh, she's changed, hasn't she? I, I've never seen the photo... Uh, with a slashed wrist? With a slashed wrist. Mother and father say they gave it to you. Well, uh, I don't believe I've seen I've got no recollection of that. Yet, a decade later, Pell changed his tune. It was a bombshell admission after years of denial. When Chrissy and Anthony Foster showed you a photograph after their daughter Emma had slashed her wrist, did you respond, and again I quote, mm, she's changed, hasn't she? Uh, probably, but you've got to understand that this was a... Uh... Uh, pr production of this photo was something sudden. I didn't have a chance for a considered uh, response. George Pell's heartless reaction to Anthony and Chrissy's grief set the tone for how they'd be treated in the years ahead. They fought us and fought us and fought us. But with quiet dignity, they fought back, leading to a Victorian parliamentary inquiry into the Catholic Church, which in turn saw the start of the long-running and exhaustive Royal Commission. What we're seeing now is institutions being dragged to the point of actually doing something about looking after victims and getting some sense of justice for victims. Anthony and Chrissy have been loudest at lobbying for George Pell to return from the Vatican to answer questions about the church cover-up of pedophile priests. Soon we'll learn if police plan to charge him with sexually abusing young boys, allegations he strongly denies. Of course, it's all too late for Anthony, who at just 64 leaves us too soon. A soldier for change, a hero to all who knew him, and to so many who now never will. If you could tell Emma about the fight for justice, the success or otherwise that you've had, what would you say to her? Yeah, there's no way we want to be in this position. Yeah, we want her here, but she's not. Um, and so often 
this is seen as us against the church, us, but this is actually Emma's fight and all the other victims like her. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.